good evening Taurus this is going to be your um, your full moon and Aquarius reading take what resonates leave what doesn't Saving the best for last. My Venus folks. Okay. Full moon. That's full moon and Aquarius message for Taurus. Take time to breathe out. All right, Taurus. So maybe some of you guys could be taking a break from something. Or maybe just from life in general. Um, could be taking a break from a few things. Or you're needing to. Um, we have communication is key. New moon and Gemini. So I'm getting some blue energy. You guys do rule the throat chakra. Um, you may need to speak out about something. Try not to be passive during this time. Oops. And then we have <laughs> um, surrender to the divine, full moon, literally. And then we have full moon in Aquarius, I mean, full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. And underneath that is step outside your comfort zone. All right, so we got two full moon energies here. Full moon and Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture and surrender to the divine. Okay, communication is key. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, your full moon in Aquarius homework is to just surrender and to just be. Um, not to do too much. Um, I, I, I would focus more on speaking up for yourselves during this time. Try not to be passive. This is not the time where you want to be passive or passive aggressive. Be honest. Um, be open about what's bothering you. For this full moon in Aquarius, Taurus, also release what's blocking you from speaking up. What blocks you from that? Ruby life, passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. I feel like right now you guys are kind of taking time away or stepping away from a project or from work in general. We have Jade here, Wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. Maybe you guys are recovering from something or you will be recovering from something. Um, and it could just be, it doesn't have to, maybe it's physical, maybe it's just energetically um, or emotionally, mentally. Um, you guys could be going through upgrade right now. So you're needing just time to like just chill out. Um, a lot of you could be just trying to relax at this time. Sometimes, you know, to relaunch, we got to kind of just chill and like sit back a little bit, right? So like, you know, taking rest is just as productive as being active. So uh, make sure you guys are taking time out to rest during this time.
this full moon energy could have you guys wiped out to rose quartz love life new or renewed romantic love is here for you i feel like with the communication is key again you guys are needing to speak up about something this could be in a romantic relationship um if you guys aren't happy with something if you guys or needing something from your partner or you don't want something from your partner whatever it is i feel like in the terms of love you guys need to speak up and for those those who are partnered um you're being asked to speak up before thing you don't want things to kind of get sour and out of hand by being passive or passive aggressive and for those of you who are single use this full moon in aquarius to really release um release confusion and release any old outdated beliefs you have around love right release any old partners sexual partners all of that um in order you know if you're and also like get clear about what it is you want in the lover what do you really want in a partner you know be honest about that be clear about that and what what do you feel like has prevented you from achieving that or meeting that or holding out for that right these are things we write down and once we're able to write it down on paper we're able to kind of like you know get those aha moments um i think if you guys don't journal i would suggest journaling at this time for you guys Taurus. it's sometimes it's challenging for Taurus to verbally express how they feel journaling will help out a lot um I'm gonna Communication is definitely a key, especially when it comes to love. Mm, yeah, we have this long-ass name, right? Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. With the serenity to divine, and we have calcite, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Sugar light. Um, own your divine power replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment yeah don't be passive taurus maybe this is either you or someone around you or the person you're dealing with or the person you're with um but don't be passive and if you feel like your partner or your friend or whoever you're super close with is being passive and not being honest with you about something i won't say poke at them but i will say just you know let them know that you're here to listen and you know you want them to say what's on their mind you care you know let them know you care about them and you know yada 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 um with the be gentle with yourself and with the take time to breathe out i do feel like a lot of you guys um do need to just relax um i feel like a lot of you have been through a lot energetically physically financially emotionally and it's you know a lot of times when we go through these things a lot of it is because um we're trying to control timelines and we're trying to we want things to happen on our time and that's just not how life works so um i want to say be gentle with yourself but also be gentle with life um remember you're co you're collaborating with the universe you're not working don't try not to work against it Remember to collaborate with life, not work against it, and not try to necessarily control everything. There are some things you can control, like your mindset, the way you talk to people, the way you treat yourself, the way you see yourself, things like that. But the timeline for things, not always. So I want you guys to um, relax. You know, don't force yourself to stay busy like a lot of you this is a time to really just chill really chill and we'll look at the bigger picture here it's like really pay like really pay mind to like remember everything i was saying this and i forgot who's reading but everything we do in the present has a cause and effect for later so every when you do something or you don't do something think of the bigger picture and also during this full moon in Aquarius, release whatever keeps you kind of stuck in your and whatever keeps your heels dug into the ground that kind of prevents you from moving forward, Taurus.
Hmm. Yeah, this time out is going to give you guys a lot, a lot more energy to um, resume any projects or any work that you guys have been doing. Right now is really a time, if you can afford to, I would take off time from work for even if it's a few days. Try to do that. Because that enthusiasm and passion will come back and you'll regain your momentum. And remember, communicate in love. If you're single, you do have the opportunity to um, to meet someone if you release and make space. Um, and, I, uh, and I feel like also for a lot of you that, that make sure you're taking time, make sure you're being focusing on yourself. Um, yeah, take things slow and just be honest with people about where you're at right now and what you're really looking for. But be honest with yourself about where you're at and if love is something that should be a priority to you right now. That's for my single Taurus. Um, what else? Yeah, let um let life work its let things work themselves out. Surrender to the divine. You, you don't have to force uh, I wouldn't force anything right now, Taurus. I would kind of just let life be right now. I feel like some of you guys could be in a position where you just physically can't, like, you just don't have the mental capacity to even, like, deal with people right now. You just may be really burnt out, or you may start to become burnt out, and you don't want to lash at nobody for no reason. Well, not for no reason, but, you know, you know because you're tired, because you didn't take responsibility for yourself. To give yourself that space and that peace and that time to recharge. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to tell people closest to you that you need a break, that you don't want to be bothered. Don't be. If, I leave my phone on Do Not Disturb twenty four seven. If if I you know if a message is there, I'll get to it when I when I see it. I don't I don't feel bad about that. My family tells me all the time I'm hard to reach. I don't feel bad about that because. It's for my mental health. Like, I don't always want to be reachable. That's very draining. Um, so you don't always have to be there for people, Taurus. You're nobody's mom. You know, and if even if you have kids, like, you know, it's, you know, always make sure your cup is full and you're putting yourself first so that you can have the emotional capacity to really interact with your kids. So you're not giving them no half-ass effort, right? Um, but yeah, if you guys can afford to take some time off and just relax, I would do so. If not, then try to kind of just try not to overdo it at work and try to relax as much as you can and be honest with the people around you if you need, if you are a parent and you can't really have, you don't really have that space to like really have that alone time. Talk to people you trust to like delegate some of that responsibility. Um, what else for you guys, Taurus? Yeah, a lot of you guys are also needing to heal and release a person or people, also. Like, I may have physically walked away, but you guys haven't really energetically or emotionally parted ways. And that's why you guys aren't really receiving what it is you want to receive in love because you're not fully open and you're not fully available. So use this time during this full moon to release that if you look those of you who are wanting new love. And for others of you and most of you who are single, you need to be focusing on healing. A lot of y'all need to be focusing on healing. But I hope this helps, Taurus, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!